Hi beloved ones, how are you guys doing? I just wanted to talk to you guys about thankfulness. So of course Thanksgiving is coming up and this time of year we always start thinking about thankfulness. Now there's like two different approaches to this and lately I've been taking the approach of oh my word like why is it this only time during the year I think about thankfulness? Like and because of that, I don't want to post about it. I don't really want to talk about it because I don't want to be the typical, it's November, Thanksgiving's coming up, I need to be thankful. So I just don't like talk about it at all. And I was actually chatting with a friend about that today. And I just started thinking about that. And like, I get it because I mean, I am thinking that way. I'm totally there. Um, but like, we don't ever have to be ashamed of being thankful, you know? We don't have to be ashamed of talking about being grateful. Um, I mean, yeah, maybe it's not the best that we only think about it really during November. And maybe sometimes we need to celebrate it in July, you know, pull out the ham in July. But like, it's not something that we have to be ashamed of. So I really suggest that you guys do go ahead, talk about being thankful. Do the thankfulness challenge on Instagram where, you know, every day or once a week you post about things that you're thankful for. Um, and especially with Christmas coming up, I mean, there's even, there's just so much to be thankful for during the holiday season. So one of my favorite things that I did last year is I actually pulled out a piece of paper. Um, I'm an art major, so I have like pads of paper. Um, I don't know how big it was, like 12 by 19 ish, but I just taped it to my wall right next to my closet. And every morning when I would go to, you know, get dressed for the morning, I would have a little like Sharpie marker or pen with me. And I would just quickly, you know, write down five things that I was grateful for. And I mean, within three months, I had filled up half of this giant piece of paper. I mean, it was like this big, you know? So it was a decent sized piece of paper and I'd already filled it up. And it just, I was really struggling during that season. And I was like, you know what? Um, I found this really good book. It was yellow, so I bought it. And it was by Nancy Lee DeMoss. So I was like, hey, why not? And it actually really ended up changing my life. Because we don't think about gratefulness a lot. And it's all about that. You know, gratefulness is one of those things that, ooh, you know, I'll get to that later. First, I have to work on charity and hope and faith and peace and endurance, you know. And then gratefulness, and eh, I'll get there later. But honestly, a lot of times, the things that we're going through, trials, depression, anxiety, you know, those moments when you're in your bedroom like, I don't want to do this anymore. I quit. You know, those moments... I've really found that gratefulness is the answer. Um, sometimes I myself, like a couple nights ago, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to lay in bed, crawl in a hole, and just hide from the world because things are just too hard and there's too much responsibility and I don't want to adult right now, you know? Um, and I was in a really low place and I thought, no, like I need to choose joy. And I remember that book and it's November. And so I was like, you know what? I was at this point a couple months ago. And so let me just pull this book out again. And truly gratefulness is the answer to depression and anxiety um, in a lot of cases. And it's the answer to even if like you wouldn't label yourself as being depressed or anxious. Just if you're like, man, life is really difficult. And I mean, with the election and things going on around the world, it can just seem way too heavy. And gratefulness is truly, truly life changing. So I'd really suggest that you get that book. I think it's called Choosing Gratefulness, Choosing Thankfulness. You'll have to look it up. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, do, buy that book, read it, reread it once March comes around, even though it's not November and not Thanksgiving, and then pull out a piece of paper and write down, you know, for the next 30 days, just even if you want to start out with two things every day that you're grateful for. It truly changed my thought process a year ago when I was being very ungrateful, very selfish, and it helped me find joy. So I hope that you guys are like super pumped for Thanksgiving. I am. Um, <clears throat> if you guys didn't know, my mom has breast cancer. And so the holidays are probably going to look a little different this year in that um, she might not be able to cook. She might not be able to eat as much of the food. But honestly, to use the word, that makes me just even more thankful for just the people like not even the the rituals that we have just being around my family having that celebration time 
Um, and so all that to say, I hope that you guys are very pumped for um, Thanksgiving. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more content and comment below. Comment with, you know, five things that you're grateful for and your tips for being grateful and content during this season um, and your plans for Thanksgiving. Make sure to let me know that too. So, all right, guys, I'll see you next time. And don't forget, you are beloved by the king of the universe. See you guys later.